Yep, you guessed it. Back on Google Earth. I shot a video on this not too far back in the past, uh, a couple weeks back, a month ago maybe, I don't know. Um, it's an awesome tool. It's a free tool. The video I shot in the past was kind of comparing Google Earth and Eagle View and some of the good and the bad. Just, just a random video about it. And I said in that video, Google Earth is great for low pitch stuff. It's always pretty damn spot on, pretty accurate. I, I, I like it. It's free. Did I mention it's free? <laughs> it's free. So, I wanted to come up with a simple solution to address the fact of the steeper the pitch. That's where you get into erroneous error. Um, it doesn't take that into account. That's where Eagle View comes in. I don't want to pay for Eagle View all the time. This is accurate. You know, my big motto has always been, whatever the problem is, find a solution. So that's what I was doing. I, uh, yeah, by the way, I'm in my comfy clothes. Sweats, whatever. It's late. I'm still working on estimates. Uh, it's going to be 2 o'clock here real soon. So this is a job I was on last weekend, or last week, just a few days back. Got it measured. It's a two-story, 12-12 pitch roof. Now, on here you can see it's showing 20 foot from here to here, looking down on that. When I measured it, it is from the eave to the ridge, 14 feet. And then 14 foot down the other side, so that's 28 feet. Alright, so, I'm sitting here getting tired of having these issues. There's got to be a solution to this. There may be some scientific proven formula out there, but I just I decided to put a pen to paper and kind of look at something here. So let me show what I did. I drew a little bit small graph out. Graphed. And uh, using my little ruler, it's four inches. And up is four inches. So a couple other things. You hear these people throwing fancy terms out like square and 1212 and all that so first of all square in roofing term is a 10 foot by 10 foot that's a hundred square foot area typically most manufacturers is three bundles um, that's a square you know here a lot of people referring to square and roofing um, another one is the 12 12 6 12 8 12 what they're referring to there is the pitch so a 612 is a 6 inch rise for every 12 inches in. So if you go 24 inches in, 2 feet, you're going to go up 1 foot. A 1212 would be 12 inches in, 12 inches up. That's a 1212. That's also a 45 degree angle. Um, this line here is something else I'll show you here in a minute. It's another little trick I want to share. So what I did is I just wanted to see using this four inches as a scale so there's four one inch units here and you swing this up to that 45 degree angle if I can try to pivot it there and keep my phone filming so that four inch is now turned into five and five eighths and then if you were to rotate that back down the other side now you're talking eleven and a quarter inch so you're starting to really add up. This is a small scale. This is just a ruler. Uh, so if you're looking at this from four to five and five eighths, each one of these would be 25 percent. So from four to five is 25 percent. And just to break these down, pretty simple. That means each quarter inch is going to be roughly six percent so it'd be 6 12 18 24 it's close enough in my head so 6 12 15 probably in that area 15 16 something like that so add that to the 25 15 to 25 25 30 40 40 percent that's where I got this 40 percent number at I did that same procedure to come up with these other numbers here Honestly, 6%, I'm not even going to fiddle fuck with it. I'm just going to measure it from Google Earth. And if I'm there, I'm just going to jump up on it. You know, 4, 6, 8, no problem to walk those. 10 starts getting a little slick. 12 starts getting unsafe. That's what this video is for. Figuring out the extra roof 
and the rise when you're using Google Earth. So with that being said, bring up a little calculator here. I already did it once, but if you're going to take 20 feet and you multiply that by 40%, so in this case this has a, a percent, it's 40% or it would be 0.4, that's 8. Well guess what? Add that 8 to the 20, so 28. What I say that was 14 feet right here? So that's 28 foot going up and down the other side. That's an 8 foot difference Google Earth does not see. Can you imagine if this was a 100 foot run? That's going to be a decent little bit of squareage you're off. Anyway. Oh, my other little thing I wanted to show here. So, uh, I learned this a long time ago. When you're trying to make something square, you can take a string or a tape measure and measure your cross sections and make sure those numbers are the same and it will kind of rock and whatever, get it plumb, square, whatever. The 3, 4, 5 rule I heard about a long time ago. And what that is, is basically, if you measure 3 inches here, or 3 feet, or 3 yards, or whatever, 3, 4, 5, so the next one would be 4. And then when you cross these points, that should be 5. And right there, 5. It's an awesome little trick when you're building and framing things. I did this to build a really big size deck out the back side of my house here a couple years ago. And basically, the bigger the item is you need to do, you just multiply these numbers. So 3, 4, 5, or 6, 8, 10, 9, 12, 15, 12, 16, 20. You know, you can just scale it up that way. And it's a perfect little trick to keep it square. So that's what I do at 2 a.m your estimates and shoot YouTube videos. If you uh, are watching this and you've got experience with Google Earth or Eagle View, any tips and tricks, please share. Leave them down below. Share them with the community. YouTube is awesome. I'm a big advocate of YouTube and sharing knowledge out there. Um, this is just something I just decided to come up with. There's probably some proven scientific way of doing this, but that's just the way I figured out how to do it with a piece of shit tape measure <laughs> or a ruler and a piece of paper. So I hope this helps somebody out there in solving their little problem on how to account for that extra. You, know, you don't want to go out there and bid a job and your squareage is under, you have to buy more than you figured for, you build under what you should have, and before you know it you've lost money and you're just pissed off. Just add this little little tip of if it's a 12-12, add 40% in. Not 40% in your whole squareage on your rise. Add 40%. And then multiply that times your, your length on your eave or ridge, whichever you're looking at it. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Share, like, subscribe. Thanks.